Okay, today we're going to be having a look at SAP CRM processes deployed using SkyMobile on an iPhone. So let me start our SkyMobile application by launching the Sky icon. As you can see, the SkyMobile presentation client for iPhone is developed purely for the iPhone to make use of its large graphical user interface and some of the unique uh, navigation techniques that apply to the iPhone uh, smartphone. So let me sign in by selecting our demo user and coming here to the main menu. As you can see, the, the application we're deploying here is geared around your, your, your white collar professional out in the field, managing his activities, taking his orders and potentially even approving his workflow. Um, the iPhone client is a rich client, as I mentioned, specifically for the iPhone to make use of the, the architecture of the iPhone platform. Um, particular navigation controls such as uh, scrolling, if I show you here, uh, as you can see the presentation client is able to adapt to the phone moving left or right. Um, we're also able to make use of unique features such as the pinch and zoom. Um, so if I can show you that here, I can minimize the screen, I can zoom in on the screen, um, making use of all the features that have come become synonymous with the iPhone. Um, today, in terms of application, let's have a look at a sales activity and we'll create an order as we do that. So in order to begin, we use the, the large buttons, the, the touchscreen interface with the iPhone to go into our activity menu. Uh, I want to see today's activities and you can see here there are two customers that I need to visit. Um, before I visit the customer, I can go in, I can display their details, I can see their phone number, I can see how regularly I call them, I could even go in and display their contacts, uh, I can call them. Um, you know, make sure they're ready for my visit. When I'm ready to visit them, I select the icon and go in and actually visit them. As I can see in my previous visit notes, last time I was here I got the order, which is fantastic. Um, today's visit, of course, has gone great, so I want to create another order. So I select the order menu, and as you can see here, the customer default, uh, the customer details have defaulted in for me. The ship to address has been maintained. Uh, I can go in and display header details. I can create the PO number and you can see we make use of the iPhone keyboard as you would expect. Um, I could also go in and do a credit check on this customer uh, before I take the order, make sure there's no problems with the order itself. Uh, this credit check is doing a real-time call to SAP. So here we see the credit limit is fine, the credit exposure is under where it needs to be. So from here I go back, uh, I could take some more uh, text here if I wanted to to come through into the order and I go back. Now I want to add items to my order. Um, coming into the item screen I can see some of the items that are available to me. Um, I can easily change and navigate based on different product selection criteria. Um, in this instance I want to order one of these bicycles so I can select that and actually go in and see again in real time to SAP yes I have some stock at hand. So that being fine I want to add some details. I can go back. I'm happy with that. He only wanted the one set of bikes. I can display a summary. Here with the summary I've got a quantity. I've got an order price that's been calculated for me. I go back and I can complete my order. Am I sure? Absolutely. Now that I've got my order I can update my visit notes again. I got a small order this time, so I can record those details. I can go back now. Uh, I don't need to do a survey today, so I can skip that task and I can complete. Am I sure? Absolutely. Um, when do I want to see them again? Well, it, I see them fortnightly, so it's calculated the date and it's calculated the time. I can make that a nice round number. Done. That's now complete. My visit process is now being executed and you can see it's been removed from today's activities. Okay, other activities that you would expect to be able to do is, for example, go and have a look at a sales history. What orders have I taken in the past? Uh, I could limit that to a particular customer if I choose to, but not today. I could also go and do an online price check. Uh, for example, if I was to enter my material that I just ordered, I can do a price check 
and you can see there that's a, again a synchronous call to SAP making use of my SAP pricing conditions. Um, that's all I wanted to show you for today. Um, as per all of our applications, this, this can be deployed on any smartphone device. This is just an example to show you how we can make use of the, the very easy to use, very easy to navigate iPhone platform in order to deploy a very simple, in this case, CRM process, but making use of your existing SAP infrastructure. Uh, as we've talked about, Sky Mobile is deployed middleware free, extending SAP out into the field to give you uh, the most use of your SAP environment, um, not replicating your SAP processes and leaving a deployment or, or a mobile deployment of your CRM system rather than replacing your CRM system. Okay, an important part of any mobile application, as you would expect, is the interfacing back into SAP. Uh, with Sky Mobile, we deploy uh, a fully featured interface management system that is resident here within SAP. Uh, the interface management is highly visible but makes use of existing infrastructure, i.e. you don't need additional middleware. So based on what we've seen today, uh, what I wanted to show you was very briefly what that interface management looks like here in SAP. Uh, in order to go into the interface management utility, we run our transaction and we, we prompted with a selection screen to say which interfaces do you want to display. Um, today I just want to have a look at our CRM or SD uh, interfaces. I only want to see them for today. So I execute the report. And what I'm presented with here is, a, is the equivalent of our management dashboard. Uh, traffic light driven, easy to understand, easy to maintain, uh, easy to monitor for, for anybody within your SAP environment. Uh, each individual traffic light is an individual interface and what I wanted to show you was was very simply the types of things that can be done. So in this example we've got um, our news uh, being our RSS feed coming in, we've got weather services being populated, uh, we've got a customer update that somebody has done out, out in the field, uh, a customer visit or a sales activity that has been processed uh, and our order create. Um, in our order create, if I double click, I drill down, now I can see each individual order that has come into our environment from the mobile device. Um, the recording that we just saw or the demonstration talked about the mobile order number 43 um, from my device ID SKT. Now I can drill down on that and I can see the steps that were involved with, the, with this interface. Uh, in this case, a very simple interface, a single step process which was creating the sales order. Uh, we're using the SAP BAPI call to do that. And if I drill into the log here, you can see uh, we've received all the details and sales order 1493 had been created. Um, very simple process, but highly visible, easy to maintain. Um, if there was a problem with the interface, it would be a red light. Uh, we can shoot off notifications, we can email people, uh, we can send them an SMS, uh, we can automatically try to reprocess. Uh, and likewise, if somebody comes in here and there is a problem, they're able to understand the logging, uh, they're able to understand whether it was master data or it was something technical uh, and in some instances they may even reprocess the interface from this console. Um, a variety of interface mechanisms are supported. Uh, things as complicated as iDocs or simple as BAPI calls can all be processed here from within the interface management tool. Um, just to have a look at that order to finish off our process we go into SAP. 1493 was the order that was in the log. Uh, I can go in and display that and if you recall from what we saw, there's our customer number. That was the big W customer that we saw. This was the product code and that was the quantity that we recorded. So the order's been entered into the system. Uh, it's done in, in almost real time. We've eliminated the paperwork and we've been able to kick off our supply chain processes that are here within SAP rather than replicating all of this data outside into a third party system. So just an example of how uh, Sky Mobile can help you to mobilize SAP rather than replicate SAP processes.